next speaker, uh, Lise Mathieu, uh, has 35 years of leadership experience at many different organizational levels, including as commander of the Canadian Forces Health System, executive coach to numerous leaders in various industries, and as a facilitator and coach at the governance level in many healthcare organizations. She believes in people, which perhaps explains why she's such a prolific and effective educator. Please. Thank you. Healthcare is all about people. Those who consume services, those who provide services, and those who support the providers. In the future, I see healthcare remaining very much a people-intensive business. Much like the rainbow after the storm, that causes me to pause and take notice. When I think about my hopes for healthcare, I think about leadership. The caring leadership from within that keeps us grounded, whether in Afghanistan or downtown Vancouver. Why? Because there are a lot of forces in the system pulling it in all directions, and I see caring leadership as the linchpin of the healthcare industry. What major forces you see? Well, politics. It takes a lot of taxpayers' dollars to run the healthcare system, and taxpayers demand accountability and transparency. So do the math. Political influence over healthcare will not go away. We need to accept this and move on. Technology will continue to influence the healthcare industry. And don't kid yourself, it will change the way we do business. What are the chances that the latest and best is going to find itself in every Canadian community? It's not going to happen. So again, accept this, move on. Healthcare cost. We can't sustain the current trend. We have to change the way uh, we do business. But wait a minute, isn't it what the last 20 years have been about? Aren't we kind of tired of feeling like all we do is manage the unfinished? If you can't do anything about this, then move on. How much more change can be sustained? Hopefully a lot. How long will it take? Eh, probably forever. <laughs> will we ever get there? Well, the there keeps changing. So at the center of all this, there are people, not machines, people. Even on the best of days, the burden on those who work in the healthcare industry is heavy. <laughs> the consumers, the providers, the support staff, the managers, the leaders, sometimes we lose faith, sometimes we just lose faith in the system and we despair. All those sentiments detract from one basic reality, the show must go on. But give yourself a break. It does not matter where you are in the organization. There are things that you can control and there are things that you can't. In my coaching practice, I see so many people weighed down by what they can't do anything about. The reality is that the care in healthcare is about frontline people of all backgrounds and occupation and their ability to connect and establish constructive relationships in time of needs. It's not about machine, equipment, or gadgets. In the end, the people are the one that make the real difference. People are about leadership, the hearts and minds that they bring to work every day make the difference for people around them. It starts with how we all decide to spend the day, the decisions we make about the day we're going to have. So let's think about this for a second. Leadership starts with me and how I lead myself through the day. I can choose to let things weigh down on me or I can look around and set out to do the best that I can with whatever life throws my way. Accept what I cannot change but by God do something if I can do anything about it. And I'm not alone. People depend on me, on my expertise. People look to me for guidance and inspiration. I have peers, colleagues, we can all find solace that we have managed to achieve something as opposed to dwelling on what we did not. When I think about my hopes for healthcare, I think about the light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is the passion that characterizes those who embrace health profession and work in the healthcare industry. I think about a business that begins and ends with people. I think about 
those who need us at our best because they are not, those we strive to help often until the very end. I think about the so consumers who are so very grateful and those who choose not to be. But most of all, I think about the frontline staff who must remain caring and understanding no matter what. I think about the support staff whose contribution we so often fail to recognize as if we could achieve desirable health outcome if the place was filthy, poorly managed, poorly led. I think about people and how they will weather the daily storms. Will they find the inner strength to outdo themselves and give those they support their possible best? Or will they isolate themselves and turn precious positive energy into pursuing endless turf wars? When I think about my hopes for healthcare, I see the most people intensive business on the planet, yet one that can be so rewarding. Yes, we are needed. No, we don't have all the answers. Yes, there could be a better way. No, we, don't, we can't get everything we want, and sadly, we probably don't have everything we need. My greatest hope for healthcare is that we will all recognize that our reality, the reality of our situation, is what we need to embrace. I am not talking rose-colored glasses here. Healthcare is a tough business to be in, but together we are making a difference, and without us, there would be no care in healthcare. The team depicted here is fully engaged. They will not change the world, but given the opportunity, they might be make it a better one. We, the people, need to acknowledge and realize our potential, accept our limits, learn from our mistakes, and celebrate success. Hold our heads high, proud. And as the moon is about to set, a new day begins. Healthcare is about leadership. Leadership is about people. And it's about all of us. So seize the day. Thank you.